On the world's largest island, a colossal secret is buried under a blanket of ice. We call it Greenland, a name that whispers of rolling hills and lush forests. But this is one of history's greatest deceptions. In reality, Greenland is a realm of white, an empire of ice stretching for over 2 million square kiln, concealing a world that hasn't seen the sun in millennia. What if I told you that beneath this frozen shield, a lost continent lies waiting? A world of colossal canyons, ancient ecosystems, and a treasure trove of resources that could change the future of our planet. Today, we embark on an unprecedented journey to peel back this three kilometer thick layer of ice and expose the mysteries that lie in the dark. Our expedition will reveal a landscape frozen in time, a shocking history written in ancient ice and a geopolitical power struggle heating up as the ice melts away. If you are fascinated by the hidden corners of our world and the grand secrets they hold, you've come to the right place. Do yourself a favor and subscribe now and be sure to click the notification bell because you will not want to miss the astonishing discoveries we are about to uncover. Let's first grasp the sheer, mind-bending scale of this place. Imagine a landmass so vast it could swallow all of Western Europe. A territory that would dwarf Texas three times over. This isn't a continent, it's an island. If it were its own country, it would be the 12th largest on Earth. Yet, this immense land is home to just 56,000 people, a population that could fit inside a single sports stadium. They cling to the very edges of the island on narrow rocky coastlines and in deep fjords because the interior is an alien world. 80% of Greenland is a high-altitude ice desert, a place where snow falls but never fully melts, compressing over thousands of years into a colossal ice sheet. There are no roads connecting the coastal towns. The ice is an impassable barrier, a vast white ocean that dictates the very rhythm of life. To cross it is to fly over an endless expanse of white or to sail through a maze of colossal icebergs seabed from its shores. This icy reality makes its name Greenland seem like a cruel joke, a marketing ploy by the Viking explorer Eric the Red over a thousand years ago to lure settlers to this harsh land. But as we will soon see, that name holds a deeper, more profound truth. Because this island has not always been frozen. Millions of years ago, during warmer periods in Earth's history, Greenland was a very different place. It was free of its ice shield and home to sprawling forests and diverse animal life. Then about three million years ago, the planet's climate began to cool and glaciers started to crawl across the highlands. This was the dawn of the Greenland ice sheet. For millennia, it has ebbed and flowed with the Earth's glacial cycles. But it has always returned thicker and more formidable than before. Deep within this ice is a perfect preserved archive of our planet's climate history. By drilling down and extracting long cylinders of ice, scientists can read the past like a book. Each layer is a year snowfall, and trapped within it are tiny bubbles of ancient atmosphere perfect time capsules that tell us what Earth was like. Hundreds of thousands of years ago, these ice cores have revealed dramatic climate shifts from abrupt ice ages to the warm periods that allowed Vikings to farm its coasts. But the most shocking discovery came not from the ice itself, but from what was found beneath it. In a forgotten freezer from a Cold War military project called Camp Century, scientists recently rediscovered a tube of frozen soil pulled from the very bottom of the ice sheet, nearly a mile deep. When they examined it, they were stunned. It contained fossilized twigs, leaves, and plant fragments. This wasn't just dirt. It was the remains of an ancient boreal forest or tundra. It was definitive proof that within the last million years, a relatively short time in geological terms, Greenland's ice sheet had completely melted. The land, now buried under a kilometer of ice, was once green and teeming with life. This ancient glimpse of a greener Greenland is a chilling reminder of the ice sheet's vulnerability. It has vanished before, and it could vanish again. So what does this lost world actually look like? Using powerful ice-penetrating radar and satellite technology, scientists have finally been able to map the hidden continent beneath the ice, and the discoveries are breathtaking. In the north, they found a feature of unimaginable scale, 
a colossal hidden canyon running for over 750 kilometers and plunging to depths of 800 minner. It rivals the Grand Canyon in size, a monumental scar carved by a ghost river that hasn't seen the light of day for millions of years. This is just the beginning. The bedrock of Greenland is a rugged mountainous landscape with towering peaks that almost pierce the ice sheet. Their summits appearing as lonely rock islands or nunataks in a sea of white. Many more mountain ranges remain completely buried. Their forms flattened and sculpted by the immense weight of the ice above. I, in fact, the sheer mass of the ice sheet is so heavy it has physically pushed the center of Greenland's landmass down, creating a vast basin that now lies below sea level. If all the ice were to vanish tomorrow, Greenland would not be a single landmass. It would transform into a giant archipelago, a ring of coastal mountains surrounding a new central sea. And there are more secrets. In 2018, researchers announced the discovery of a massive impact crater, 31 km to wide, hidden beneath the ice in the northwest. It was formed by a meteorite the size of a city block smashing into the earth, an event preserved in pristine condition by its icy tomb. Add to this more than 50 subglacial lakes, pockets of liquid water trapped between the ice and the bedrock, warmed by the Earth's geothermal heat. These hidden reservoirs reveal a dynamic world where water still flows in complete darkness under immense pressure. This raises an incredible question. Could anything still be alive down there in this cold, sunless realm? The answer is a definitive yes. While the fossilized plants from Camp Century tell us about a vibrant past, living organisms have been found thriving in this extreme environment today. In the deep, isolated pockets at the base of the ice, microbial life survives against all odds. These are some of the most resilient organisms on Earth, surviving in total darkness and crushing pressure by eating minerals from the rock ground up by the glacier. When scientists melted samples of 120,000-year-old ice from deep within the sheet, they found bacteria that sprang back to life, proving this frozen world is far from sterile. While we haven't yet discovered complex ecosystems, like those found in Antarctica's volcanically heated subglacial caves, the possibility remains. Somewhere in a geothermally active region, a hidden network of caves warmed from below could be harboring life, waiting to be discovered. But this hidden world is not destined to remain hidden forever. As our planet warms, Greenland's frozen facade is beginning to crack and the secrets buried for Ian are emerging at an alarming rate. The Arctic is warming faster than anywhere else on Earth and Greenland is on the front lines. In recent years, scientists have witnessed events once thought impossible. Rain falling at the ice sheet summit and massive surface melting across its highest, coldest regions. The island is now losing hundreds of billions of tons of ice every single year. A torrent of meltwater that is a primary driver of global sea level rise. Every year, Greenland's melt raises the oceans by nearly a millimeter. It sounds small, but it is relentless and accelerating. To put it in perspective, if the entire Greenland ice sheet were to melt, Global sea levels would rise by a catastrophic 7 mast or 24 FT, redrawing the maps of our world and submerging coastal cities. From Miami to Mumbai, this great thaw, however, is a double-edged sword. As the ice retreats, it is sparking a 21st century gold rush. The ancient rocks of Greenland are known to contain a treasure trove of valuable minerals. This includes vast deposits of rare earth elements, the metals essential for our smartphones, electric cars, and green technologies. Mining companies are already poised to move in, planning to exploit resources in areas that are becoming ice-free for the first time in modern history. Offshore, there are believed to be significant reserves of oil and natural gas. This has ignited intense geopolitical interest. The United States, China, and Russia all recognize Greenland's strategic importance positioned at the crossroads of new Arctic shipping routes and holding the key to immense natural wealth. In 2019, the world was stunned when the US government expressed interest in purchasing the island, a move that highlighted its growing value on the world stage. This places the people of Greenland at a monumental crossroads. As an autonomous territory of Denmark, 
Greenland governs its internal affairs, but its people dream of full independence. The potential wealth from its resources could finally make that dream a reality. But they face a profound choice to pursue rapid economic development by selling off their natural heritage, or to forge a more sustainable path protecting one of the last great wildernesses on Earth. In a bold and surprising move, the Greenlandic government recently halted all new oil exploration, citing climate concerns. It was a powerful statement to the world that they will not sacrifice their future for short-term gain. The future of Greenland is being written now, not in ice, but in the decisions made by its people, the world that is emerging from beneath. The ice is more than just a lost landscape. It is a mirror reflecting our past, a warning about our present, and a question mark for our future. It is a land of paradox, a green land of ice, whose secrets we are only just beginning to understand.